Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the difference between RAW and JPEG but also the effect of, uh, in RAW you have two different types, or three or four, whatever you want to call it. You have 12 bit and now you've got 14 bit RAW images. And you can also have them where they're compressed RAW or a loss less compressed RAW or an uncompressed RAW. Um, uh, so now you've got six different types of RAW that you can get. Because um, you can have that in 12 bit or you can have it in 14 bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a detailed image uh, with my wide angle of this scene here. So, just so you can see what it looks like uh, it's all these books and uh, so lots of details where we can see writing and there should be shadows and stuff like that. And I'm going to work it so that I'm going to do. One where we do it underexposed and one where we do it overexposed and see how much difference we get from the different images. So the cool thing with the D300 is that you can do RAW and JPEG capture at the same time. And I'm going to have the JPEG on large and fine, you know, like the best quality JPEG that you can get. And I'm going to take a picture of it at its normal exposure. So picture of hand first, keep everything as still as possible. It's going to be at ISO 200 as well. Wait, I'll take off any active delighting as well. So there's no delighting, there's no noise reduction or anything. This is it. Now we're going to do it where it's totally underexposed. So I'm going to do just the exposure compensation button up here and do it to minus four. And now this time we're going to do the overexpose. Okay, so let's so let's go see what they look like on the computer. Okay, so here are the photos from the shoot there, and you can see even just from flicking through each image, you can tell there's definitely some form of differences in the image. Now, obviously, the JPEG image will have certain things added to it. So if it's increased sharpening or increased colour saturation. So the first one we're looking at here is the JPEG and it's coming out at 4 and a bit megabytes which is fine. The second image, this was the raw compressed one, this comes out at 9 megabytes but this is the uncompressed one which is 24, almost 25 megabytes in size. So a huge difference in file settings. So if we just take away the uh, two JPEGs and we've got the two rows, and going from each, a ca there's a tiny little difference in camera movement. Let's zoom in straight into one to one on the actual camera, and let's see if there's any visible difference that we can see. Personally, I can't actually see any difference at the moment. Let's say we go down and we're looking, let's, we're going to have to get even closer zoomed in and we're looking at things in uh, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2 uh, that's in the compressed one, the uncompressed where it's 24 megabytes, I can't see any difference whatsoever, they both look exactly the same to me. There's no increase in resolution or anything like that. Okay, so that's if it's if you've got a correctly exposed image, nothing's really going to change. Now, this is the underexposed image here. Okay, so we've got the JPEG shot there. That's the unedited or the uncompressed raw. So there, you can tell there's definitely more light or more something coming into it. That's JPEG again, and then that's the compressed. So let's take away the two JPEGs. There does seem to be a tiny difference in exposure. So if we look up at, this is the compressed image we're looking at and if I put my cursor over where the pretty much all the brightness stops then I go to the uncompressed, there's no difference in the histogram that we're seeing there. But if I put the pointer just at the top of where the red is showing there's definitely a difference in height to the colours in the histogram, so there's something happening in this. Now let's go and try and actually edit these photos. Let's see how much, if there's any difference we can get from the exposure. So if we were to bring the exposure up to two, maybe three, let's bring it up to three. Okay, so that's in both 
increased in brightness by three stops. Let's take away the blacks in both of them and let's see how much extra detail we're able to get from them. Okay, so compressed raw, and this is the uncompressed raw. I have noticed a slight difference in the images. Let's say we zoom in at the Sony sign on the TV. Okay, you can see it really looks quite noisy and a bit of a horrible image, and that's in the uncompressed. And in the compressed RAW, it also looks a wee bit horrible, but it looks a little bit darker. It seems like the uncompressed RAW seems to almost have more noise, or maybe more colour noise. There's definitely, flicking from image to image, there's definitely a difference in colour in some way. Okay, so again, I can't really tell the difference. Now, if we go for the overexposed ones, this is usually where it gets a bit more interesting. Uh, we'll take away both the JPEGs. Uncompressed. This one is the 12-bit compressed image. Just flicking through them, I can't see any difference whatsoever. But let's go and edit them a little bit. So let's bring the exposure down to 4. Flicking from the two images... I can't see any difference whatsoever. Let's zoom in on, let's see if we can see my face. It's a picture of me and Kim. And going from the uncompressed to the compressed, I don't see any difference whatsoever. Apart from a huge bit size. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand a little bit more. Hasn't helped me in any way because I always shoot 12 bit normally lost less compressed. Um, but yeah, so that's the image. Okay, cheers, hope that helps. Bye. <coughs>